Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 3 on the Game Boy. That's right, Dr. Wily's back. Even though we killed him at the end of the last game, he's somehow alive again and ready to take over the world. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why I'm LPing this game. I mean, I've already LPed Mega Man 3 on the NES. But actually, this is a very special LP. Why? Well, because... I just recently came to my attention that I've been LPing for over a year. Uh, July 19th, I believe, 2008 was when I started my first LP of uh, Mega Man 6. And I figured I'd go, you know, celebrate with the series that I started with that got me where I am, I guess. And, uh, my, probably one of my all-time favorite series. And I would have LPed Mega Man 6 on the Game Boy. But, uh, it doesn't exist. They went as far as Mega Man 5, and they stopped. And graphics are kind of glitching out there at the top, but that's just because of all the movement going on here. So, uh, yeah, Dr. Wily's back. He has occupied some oil rig out in the ocean, and he wants to build a new weapon. And take over the world. Typical, right? So we have to stop him, and this time, like Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy, we'll be facing four enemies from this game, and four from the next. Ooh, there's an extra life. So we'll be fighting some Mega Man 4 bosses. This game is very faithful to the NES version of Mega Man 3. As you can probably hear in the background, is they retain the music from the NES, and a lot of the, the uh, graphics. And, uh level design, so very well done. I will say it's a bit harder, uh, there's a lot of unfair jumps and a lot of areas where you'll end up taking hits unless you've played the game before and you'll know where enemies are gonna spawn and there's a lot of places where you'll end up falling right on top of them. So take what, you know, take the good with the bad I guess. And you'll notice we have the Mega Buster in this game even though we didn't actually get it in Mega Man 3 on the NES, but that's because this is a hybrid. Uh, energy I didn't need. Oh well. So starting with Snake Man, and then we'll move on in order of weaknesses again, as we usually do. And I'll try and fit in two bosses per video if I can. The stages are a bit longer than uh, the NES. I mean, not the NES. Oh yeah, maybe than the NES counterpart, but as well as the uh, Game Boy 2. I mean, Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. Those stages weren't that long at all. Let's keep moving along here, Mega Man. These guys don't have pole vaults. They just kind of spring out of their legs. Guess they don't need to keep that charged all the time. The sound isn't quite as annoying as it is in uh, the NES, which is nice for the charging up of the Mega Buster. Always kind of drowned out the music. Oh, Hammer Joe. Oh. Just couldn't go into the game without putting him in there somewhere. Right there is another enemy. He'll knock you off the ladder, and, uh... It's very hard to grab him when you've been hurt. Right, do this. There we go. The controls are also very sensitive in this game. You'll often find yourself jumping off into pits when you don't mean to, and that was totally my fault, but, uh... I got the energy anyway. So who cares? Alright, are we near the- whoa! You also tend to take a lot more damage from enemies than you normally would, which... I guess that makes it a bit harder, but not necessarily fair. These stupid bouncing things. So, uh, I'll, I'll go out and thank everyone and all you guys at the end, but uh, this whole LP will... If I can do it right, I'll probably try and post it all in one day, just to kind of celebrate just today. And uh, if it's too long, I'll just break it up between the two days. I'm probably going to die here because, yeah, collision damage is high. And I had already taken a lot of damage before getting there. Not a big deal. Alright, let's do this. Mega Buster does make this fight a bit easier. Actually, a lot easier. And you can kill his search snakes if you want to. They will absorb damage if you time your shots wrong, so... Ow. 
And now that we have at least one boss weapon, the rest of this game is going to be a cakewalk. I kind of like that version of absorbing the enemy powers. And the other reason I went, well, the reasons I went to this guy first is because he's the easiest boss and he starts off a good order of getting uh, the boss powers, plus he gives you the rush coil. And now let's move on to Gemini Man, and hopefully I have enough time to do this. Alright, come on game, hurry up. So, uh, yeah, I really can't believe it's really been a year, and there's so many more LPs to come. I already have a few ideas of what to do next. Uh, I'm hoping to do more net plays, and I'm hoping to improve my commentary. I know I'm not the best at it, but I'm, I'm hoping to get better. I think I've come kind of a long way since I started a year ago, but there's always room for improvement. Whoa. These flies only take three hits. There we go. Here's one of these places where you'll take unnecessary damage. Ow. I tried to slide under that and I screwed it up. And you can if he jumps far enough. Let's see how quickly I can get through this stage. Ow. And not die in the process. So that'll just waste even more time. I feel like his shots are a bit slower. Maybe I'm just used to... I don't know. I haven't played a Mega Man game in a while, actually. Alright, and... Now the Mega Buster, with that, we can actually break through all these fish eggs without having to take forever to shoot them all individually, but... Actually shooting all of them and killing all the enemies isn't such a bad idea because sometimes they'll drop goodies like one-ups or health. I notice there's a severe lack of one-ups in this game. Uh, you know in Mega Man you'll usually find them scattered around around a level somewhere or an enemy will drop one, but it, it's very rare. I'm surprised I got one so early. Alright, oh. And an E-Tank. I'm gonna want all of those. That saves so much time. Even then, I'm still running out of time, so I gotta go faster. Ah, I will say the Mega... I think I may have said this already, but... If this is like my third or fourth time doing this recording of the video, so... Uh, if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. But, uh, the Mega Man 4 levels aren't quite as faithful as the Mega Man 3 levels, and I'm not quite sure why. Although they did, they did manage to keep the music, which is nice. But I feel like the stages just don't look like the same ones. At least this, you know, you'll know it's Gemini Man. Sure, it's in black and white, but it's still Gemini Man. Maybe I'm just being picky. Oh, these stupid f frogs. There we go. I think we're near the end. Oh, no, we're not. And I can't get up there. There we go. Ah, these penguins come out a lot faster. There we go. I think there's going to be one more. Just... Just like in the NES, there's two of these things, and I can just jump over that fly. I hate these flies! Ah! I suppose I could kill the penguins for a second here and just kind of get some health. Whoa! Ouch! Ah, there we go. Oh, come on, Mega Man! There we go, we're in good shape now. I could probably beat the boss with just this amount of health. Ow! Or I could have if I hadn't gotten hit there. The jumping is also a little floaty. I notice he jumps much higher than he normally would. It's like he's always underwater. And this stage is not underwater, it's just kind of a trippy stage.
Oh, that was risky. I didn't even jump that far. Come on, Mega Man, you have a minute. Ah, we did it. All right, let's beat this boss. In under a minute. Aw, yeah. Ooh. Audio glitch, and I dropped my controller. But we won! And now that only leaves two Mega Man 3 bosses left. This one year anniversary special is going quite well. So we got the Gemini laser. Next time, guys, we take on Shadow Man and Spark Man. See you then.